So here it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the finale of Shadow of the Colossus. As these mysterious men ride towards the temple. And this is all cutscene. Well, I wouldn't say all cutscene, but yeah, the majority of this is, is freaking cinematics. So, yeah. I suppose we could be quiet during this, but. Fuck it. Yeah. I mean, they should I, know by, by now that we don't stay quiet. Yeah. I mean, you can read the subtitles here. You can't even understand what they're saying anyway. Yeah. Besides, you can also look up. Uh, the the video, uh, you know, just online, as if well. If you want as, to see it without commentary, there's a reason why you're watching the Let's Play. And we also have the uh, the Raws up on, uh, you know, uh, up here, so you can watch that if you wanted to. But uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing that's worth it is like the soundtrack, and I suppose the voice acting. The voice acting is pretty decent for what it's worth. But, uh, yeah. So that's Lord Amon. Yep. Okay. And there it is. Now that the statue is destroyed, all 16 idols have been reduced to dust. It's, it's done. You guys are too late. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, so that's what he looks like underneath. Okay. Wouldn't find if that was actually his face. Are you gonna take that mask off? What mask? Oops. I'm sorry. But now, now is where um, the initial speculation and crap can kind of come to an end. Once things kick off, then we can actually start talking like normal. But, uh, dang. It's morning now. Yeah. Normally he's already transported to the freaking temple, right? Well, this is probably within the same time frame. The storm probably stopped just after he killed it. True. And now we finally see yeah. how he gets back to the temple every time. Although, how in the heck does Agro get back? He runs. More than likely. I mean, we don't know how long he's passed out during each period, so Agro can easily have the time to run back from where he was to there. Yeah. And when you wake up, Agro's not automatically there. He's still running back. Yeah. Well, that sucks because neither one of them have had a rest. Yeah. So we don't exactly know what fate Mono was subjected to. But damn, look I no reverence for the ancient sword at all. I'm just gonna throw it. Oh shit. But there we go. It's time. The shadow people. And now we see how Wait, Wanderer what? looks after finally. Whoa, 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 whoa. Horns? Holy shit. He's got horns now? Look at that skin though. Seriously, skin is just like death. I think he does have an idea. Well, not the consequences. True. Now the thing is, maybe, that... maybe he did, but he wanted to risk it to try and save Mana. I don't know. I mean, other than you know his life or his humanity, but uh, yeah. Wow. And then this line, you are only being used. Now, this might be legit, or this might just be how they think. D dang, he's armed with a crossbow. <laughs> These motherfuckers ain't playing around. Look, he's possessed by the dead. Oh, really? Hurry up and do it. Shoot. Oh, this. Really? Motherfucker just shot me. You know what I'm like, all right, fuck it, arrow with me, I'm gonna keep going. Look, Holy shit, that was dark. Dark. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the thing is, I'm probably gonna mention it again in the bonus video, but the Forbidden Lands are actually time locked. But when Wanda set foot in, uh, in the land, time began to flow again. Huh. What kind of spell did you guys? 
Yeah, so... Oh. He looked hesitant to do it. Whoa, wait, black blood? Well, shit. What is he, a fucking Colossus? It, it's just like the Colossi. <laughs> really? I'm just getting up with a freaking arrow in his leg and a sword through his chest. Okay, really want it? He is that determined? Okay, how in the heck did the sword go all the way through him like that? And he was on the ground. Yeah, like he probably got up and it kind of shifted. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just like, hey, it's a sword, but just pull it out. <laughs> and, dang, could y'all at least let him see her first? Straight well, up, he went through all that shit. Well, no, the longer you stay like this, the more likely it'll be before, you know, they, they possess you or something. Look, the it's already happening. Is, they sped up the possession by stabbing them. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah, because they brought him to death. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like when you kill a Colossus. All of a sudden they, they go dark. That darkness. But in Wander's case, there's a tad bit difference. God. Really? Do you have any idea what you've done? You're just fucked up. Dang. Y'all don't even know. Uh oh. Now, he's pissed. Well, you guys. Yeah, you got rid of Wanda, but what about Dormant? Motherfucking giant. He is a fucking Colossus. <laughs> Whoa. So, there you go. That's what you know. Uh, yep. There's your background. So, Dorman was all the class I put into one. Yeah, Dorman's soul was split into 16 segments. Those are the shadow people that you saw after uh, defeating each. That were sealed inside the closet. Yeah, so that's why I was saying before about were they sentient before or after the soul fragments were transplanted? I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the class I were there before, but since they had a duty to protect, they were. They were transplanted into them. each class I was giving was given a well each surviving class I was giving a soul fragment. See, there's a lot to be inferred here, but now guess what? Gameplay time. You get to play as Dorman. It's really not boring. Yeah, but this is it. Guess what? You are the shadow of the Colossus. That's exactly what the title is. Now, unfortunately, you don't get to move at full speed and everything. Uh, you do retain like your full grip gauge and all that, but you don't have those abilities anymore. But if you notice that Dorman's actually hobbling. Why? Because he's using Wander's body. So the condition that he was in is transferred to him as well. So, taking an arrow through the thigh, he ain't gonna be able to walk normally. And a sword through the chest. You know, a sword through the chest isn't that big of a deal, considering he still has the freaking arrow in his leg. He took the sword out. Not very true. Very true. Yeah, so, this is kind of pointless. You if Wander didn't take that freaking arrow to the knee, <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure Doran would have fucked them all up. Yeah, he would have been able to move faster, that's for sure. But then again, you're still moving fairly slow anyway because you're a gigantic creature. As you can see, look, you can see that he's clearly hobbling. It looks like his, like, the knee that, or the leg that got the arrow through is like, it's not even fully a rug. It's, he's on his knee on that one. Yeah. It's not, uh, not strong enough to support the, the rest of the thing. So they're running up the spiral staircase. That's the reason why I showed it off in part 19. Because, you know, in case you forgot about that in the opening. So, oh, okay, ready my horse. Wait, wait, why can't you go get your own damn horse? 
because I'm the elder? Wait, wait, check this out. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm about to ruin this moment. What are you doing? I wasn't gonna do the whole quote, but you it's shall good. not pass. This is awesome. That's gonna be like really redundant once I start mixing the thing. <laughs> but all of a sudden this, this dang vortex. Why are the statues not coming in too? <laughs> Maybe they're meant to uh, suck in dark energy. And I think that's what the four decks is meant for. Uh, perhaps. You think that the idols will also be connected to the dark energy? Well, they're destroyed now. Yeah. So Wait. I think all the dark energy was was um, now released. He's, now he's being now he's reverting back to normal, or as close to normal as he on, could be. Now. Like I said, his soul has has been. You know, tainted because of all of that. So now, what the heck is with the Yeah, a little bit of gameplay. Now you can actually control Wander, and you can run, and you can jump. Heck, you can actually turn around and just go straight into the, the vortex. But I've heard that some people can could actually made it all the way outside the temple. Yeah, but it doesn't do anything. You're still being sucked in. Yeah. But as you can see, I actually did kind of regain some ground, but I don't really see the point. I mean, might as well just end it, you know? It's hopeless. Even people who use, like, hacks to, like, travel freely during this time, it doesn't do anything. You're still technically going to be something no matter where you go. Yeah, and I just decided, you know, fuck it. Whee! <laughs> might as well. Let's get this sucker over with. Although it would be better if I just let myself get pulled in instead of jumping straight into it. But here we go. I don't know what happened to Wander. And I don't know what happened to Dormant. But, uh, looks like they've both been sealed or destroyed or something. And now, here we go with this. They start collapsing the bridge. Really? Now, would have been funny if this thing actually uh, collapsed before they could actually cross it. But, you know, it's just, it, the spell is designed to uh, break after the last man passes. But you just know one of them had to fall off. You know, just fall into the valley and die. That was, I would laugh my ass off. 